Many, many aspects of America's situation at this stage of its history are conditioned by what happened 10 years ago with the 9-11 attacks. For example, the financial and fiscal overextension of the United States, which is such a focus of politics within America and of world economic dispute, is very significantly affected by the fact that the U.S. is at war in both Iraq and Afghanistan and has been for 10 years now. And so if there hadn't been those attacks, then the, the financial commitments of the U.S., its military commitments would be different. Probably the state of its domestic politics would be different too. It's striking that the 9-11 attacks themselves and America's response just in their, their essence were not really politically divisive. And perhaps that's natural. If a nation comes under this kind of unprecedented attack, there is a sort of unifying effect that comes from it. And for probably six months after the attacks, uh, President George W. Bush was uh, very, very popular and had broad support both within the U.S. and, and, and around the world. As time went on, and as the Bush-Cheney administration placed more and more emphasis on military response in Iraq and the whole range of measures that they justified internally and internationally in the name of fighting the global war on terror, that became more of a polarizing access, uh, axis within the U.S. and internationally. And I think you see some of that, uh, that following through even now as President Obama prepares for his reelection. But I think there are serious structural questions about the nature of partisan division in the Congress and whether that makes it possible to have any kind of compromise of the anti-tax mania, which means that at a time when individual tax rates are lower than they've been for many decades in the U.S., there is more resistance to raising them than there's been for a very long time. So I think that's how, how I view it. The United States is still a great success in every measure except its public institutions. But that's a, that's a significant exception and one that, uh, that needs a lot of attention and help from around the world. President Obama, like all presidents, is trying to solve a, an equation with a thousand variables all at once. And he needs to pay attention to international affairs, to what's happening in Iraq and Afghanistan, what's happening in the Middle East, what's happening with China, what's happening with Russia, what's happening with Australia, what's happening in Japan, while at the same time seeing what, if anything, can he do about the morass of the American employment situation of people just being out of work for a very, very long time. So uh, that, that's um, why for all of the ways that presidents are judged historically, the way they're judged electorally often boils down simply to the unemployment rate. Are people better off or not? And that is what must be consuming President Obama's attention right at this moment.